Hey guys, how's it going? It's Red X here. Wanted to give you guys a completely different video than what I typically do on this channel. Um, but I wanted to show you guys this awesome 2017 SS Camaro that I just got from CarMax yesterday. Shout out to CarMax actually. They made it a very painless process. Uh, it was very enjoyable actually. I got to test drive it and I, I knew exactly what I was looking for as soon as uh, I took it for that test drive came back I had the biggest smile on my face like this is my dream car and it is I've always dreamed about owning a Camaro ever since uh, watching Transformers of course like I feel like 90% of Camaro enthusiasts or owners or anyone that wants a Camaro uh, that's that's when we all at least the newer generation of of uh enthusiasts uh fell in love with camaro then there with that uh fifth gen uh chassis of course the classics were always amazing uh it didn't really care for the fourth generation honestly um but this is the sixth generation newest generation um and it, it's kind of sad actually because it doesn't seem like Camaros are going to be a thing anymore after 2022. Though, you know, that remains to be seen. But I wanted to get dibs on at least an older one, of course, because the newer ones are still pretty expensive. But this one has 37,000 miles, so it has been used up a bit. Uh, and the paint is definitely has definitely seen better days. Um, but I wanted to show you guys the journey of getting the car in here, getting it all cleaned up. I'm gonna have the inside all cleaned up from the headliner down to the floor mats. I'm going to show you guys all of the little quirky uh, features that it has. Some of them are a little unnecessary in my opinion. And uh, any other extras, anything that you guys wanna watch, comment down below. Um, but it's just a very exciting exciting weekend and i can't wait to show you guys and uh other other little things here and there like maintenance is what i do for um for chemicals and cleaning and and what kind of protection coatings i use and stuff like that because um i work with apex detailing um and they specialize in paint correction and protection as well so I want to show you guys a little bit of the process there, but uh, without further ado, let me show you around the car. So before I start showing you guys around, giving you the tour of the car. I wanted to tell you guys a little bit about the uh, purchasing process, basically what I got it for, as well as what it was worth when it was new and other little stats. So uh, of course, if you don't know, uh, and if you're trying to do a little bit of research on Camaros and you're interested in getting one, um, you're interested in what kind of engine it has, it does actually have the same 6.2 liter V8 that the Corvette does. Um, it does 455 horsepower uh, and, and 455 pound-feet of torque as well. So it is very beefy uh, and a monstrous engine. Um, I This is actually my first V8 that I've ever drove uh, or sport car in general. Um, other than I, I did have a 2013 uh, premium Mustang, but it wasn't a GT, it was the V6, and it only did about like 300 horsepower about. Um, so not nearly, not, not nearly as powerful, but it was pretty, pretty nice. Um, but this is on a whole different level, especially with the new and improved, um, I would say new, but new-ish, uh, eight-speed automatic dual clutch system. This is fully automatic. Um, unfortunately, it didn't have stick then and there over at CarMax um, when I was there, so that, that's kind of a bummer. But um, what I can tell you guys is that you're not really losing anything like the previous uh, generation did. If you went for stick on the previous generation, I believe you lost some horsepower. Um, I could be wrong. I think it, it might be automatic. 
don't quote me on that actually. By the time I bought the car yesterday, it was about $38,998. Um, don't understand why they don't round it up. I think it's like a marketing thing. Uh, mentally, you just look at the 38,000 and the no other numbers are kind of just like, not something that you really think about too much. Um, but yeah, that is the price, and uh, I'll let you guys assume if that's a good price or not. But with the features that it has, it's almost fully decked out, and it runs just like new. I thought it's really not that big of a deal. And uh, I, I don't know exactly how much it would be brand new, but I would assume it's around 42000 So depreciation, even though it's a 2017 with a decent amount of miles, isn't too bad. These cars are really hot, especially with the chip shortage, making all of the newer vehicles being hard to get. Uh, it seems like used vehicles are really starting to get a little expensive. So that's kind of a disclaimer for anyone who is currently looking for a car in general, let alone a sports car. If you're looking for a sports car, you can imagine that it, it yeah, the prices are, are definitely rising. So. Something that you really do need to think about. Well, without further ado, let's get into all the features and uh, little quirks and, and weird stuff that I really think is a bit unnecessary, but uh, all the bells and whistles is really fun to have. Let's get into it. To show you guys exactly what features are included within this trim level and some other extras that were added on as well um, you can unlock and unlock the door with this little button here if you have the keys on you and as soon as you open the door you're welcomed with this amazing uh, combination of brown leather on the seats and black on the center armrest as well as the rest of the center console and infotainment system the steering wheel I mean, I I couldn't really ask for anything, uh, any of the other color combination that just, I think this combination looks the best and it looks a lot better than just putting it you know, all black or all brown. Um, in my opinion, I think this is definitely my favorite. Of course, as you can see, got some accent lighting going here on the silver trim here. Um, it's on here as well as around the infotainment system here and uh, i'll show you guys more on the customization of the colors and everything like that in a bit there was one quick thing that i wanted to add about these memory seats and it's the fact that you can actually save your easy exit seat position the way you want it to and basically the way to do that is you just press set here and the button all the way at the end here where it has the arrow coming out of the car. And basically what that does is whatever position that is best for you to get out of, what you do is set it to that position, you press it in th those buttons in that sequence, and then whenever you turn off the ignition after that and open the door, it will set itself automatically to that position that which you saved that, uh, that seat position on. And I think that's pretty cool because I don't think you really see that on too many luxury cars. I could be wrong, but it is a really cool function nonetheless to have on a Camaro. So it's pretty convenient. Um, <clears throat> you can also see that this also has the upgraded Bose sound system. I believe it's an eight speaker system, but um, either way, it's a fantastic choice for any of you that are complete audiophiles and need something uh, a bit better than the stock speakers. Um, I don't know how the stock speaker system works, but I would assume that it doesn't sound too bad, but this sounds amazing. Um, and of course, the buttons here are all plastic. You're not gonna get anything too amazing. <laughs> it is a Camaro after all, a sports car, so they feel satisfying at the least. They're just not metallic or, you know, anything, any other material that's luxury based. But at least I can say that this is soft leather right here, but you have scratchy plastics on the handle and some leather up here as well. Which is kind of odd that they have a little bit of leather here, but a bit of plastic 
the rest of the door until you reach down here, then it makes sense because that's where you're gonna be resting your arm, apparently. Anyways, moving on. Of course, this is all plastic, but it is very nice looking. I really do like the structure of um, the interior as well as the design. I'm gonna hop in here and show you the ambient lighting as well as the infotainment system. Turn on the system. Now, as you can see, I didn't completely turn on the ignition. I wanted to show you guys the what it looks like when you just turn on the power. Um, essentially, you just see the middle screen turn on here for a little bit and then it turns back off once you don't really have any inputs going through. And then, as you can see here, there are certain settings that you can't mess with until you turn on the car, but um, there's a way to project what you have on your phone on there. And that's, that's basically uh, a function that uh, has to do with Android Auto and Apple CarPlay. It's not uh, wireless, unfortunately, so you do have to use a USB to plug into your phone to use that function. Uh, and then there's navigation. This is a 2017 model, so it's not going to be the latest system. It's going to be a little sluggish, uh, a bit less responsive than the newer systems, but it's still pretty adequate and uh, you can just use hands-free function uh, to say your destination. You don't have to type it in or anything like that anyways. But uh, the cool thing about this is that there's actually a way that you can see right there actually um, navigation appears on the middle screen here and it does have a heads up display and I'll definitely show that once I turn on the car. Okay, so as you can see, it does have a really nice heads up display, very clear quality. You can change uh, the info, info that it displays a little bit. You just have the miles per hour speed gauge on there by itself. You can switch it to the music that you have on there. I believe you could change more of, of uh, what it displays within the settings on the screen right here, uh, but I haven't really checked it out too much yet. So there's a little bit more investigating to be had to see what else it can do. Um, you can change position as well, which is pretty nice. Um, I believe that is just to show you on which direction you're going and it's back to the sport gauge as well. So, I mean, that's a really nice function or feature to have, especially on a sports car like this, which is um, just a lot more than what I would expect uh, Camaro to have, honestly. So now I'm going to go ahead and show you guys exactly what you can customize on this screen here in between the gauge cluster. Um, it's not fully digital like some of the other uh, luxury cars or any, any other uh, cars, newer cars that you see on the road today, but it's a decent size nonetheless. So, and you can do a lot with it. You can have navigation on there. You can resume the route, uh, have voice prompts on, a little bit of customization, not too much. Uh, you can go ahead and use the phone as a display. You can look at all your contacts or if you're uh, currently on call with someone. Um, let's see what other settings we have. We have recent calls, contacts, uh, favorites, and uh, you can also mess around with your audio your performance uh, settings. So basically whatever, or however you want your gauges to look like. And um, there's some other options too. Apparently, <laughs> US metric uh, units that you wanna use uh, when, it t when it comes to uh, speed and uh, other settings. And now for the infotainment system. Let's go ahead and go to the main menu. You have your audio, 
You can link it up to your phone via Bluetooth or go to XM radio, whatever you like. Uh, you can go to settings right here and set the time of day, driving mode settings. You can actually change the way that your engine sounds either all the time, have it permanently set to a certain setting, or you can also set it to the uh, automatic setting or default setting, which allows the system to just match up with whatever mode that you select here on the drive mode selector. And that also goes for the steering as well, apparently. You can see there's uh, dr team driver settings, um, allows you to assign keys with customizable restrictions. You can change the auto fan speed, comfort and convenience settings, easy exit options. You can turn that on and off if you want to. Auto memory recall and reverse tilt mirror. Some lighting options, uh, automatic uh, lock system. Whenever you leave the car, it automatically locks. And some Apple CarPlay and Android Auto settings as well, the voice. So plenty of settings that you can customize. It's pretty vast, I would believe. And of course, now this is the way to customize the accent lighting here that you see here on top of the infotainment system, as well as the door trim. So the way to do that is you can either have it on light strips so that's the only way that you can fully customize the color on the fly. Um, all these other settings, if you have it on show mode, it'll cycle through the colors um, and flash them uh, every now and then. And uh, can you continuously go through all of the colors until it reaches um, a point where it's repeating. And then this links those three colors to the drive modes. So depending on what kind of drive mode you have on, if you have it on track, it'll be red. If you have it on touring, which is the softest mode, then you have it on blue, or it'll change the colors to blue. If you have it on sport mode, it'll turn red. And if you have it on track mode, it'll turn orange like this. But I have it to the customized settings. So you just click on this lower end here of the screen and you just pick from a, a large selection of colors actually. Um, there's a lot of luxury brand vehicles that don't even give you this much customization on colors. Of course, you can argue that their accent lighting is just a lot better integrated, but I think this is pretty adequate for uh, a Camaro <laughs> and a sports car. So I usually like to set it on orange, but I'll show you some of the colors. You set it to white. It slowly changes to white, to red. nice dark red All right, if you want to go purple now I feel like Barney <laughs> go to blue and you basically get to just but I'm gonna leave it back at the orange and keep it there You also have other settings and apps you can download from the App Store, I, I think. Um, there's a couple of other apps you can access, but nothing's really popping up right now. Um, oh, now it's loading. But uh, I will show you any additional apps that I can find. I'll definitely showcase that in a, a later video. You have a frameless uh, rear view mirror, which is always awesome. Um, although I kind of wish it, it had the rear view camera um, that shows on this mirror as well. For the newer models that have that, I think the 2019 was the first model that introduced that. Um, would be fantastic because as you can see, you usually won't be able to see too much out of the rear window. Um, but that's what these mirrors are for. And I am definitely going to get the fisheye mirrors and that should help out with that problem too. And this is option out to have ventilated and heated, heated seats as well. So um, 
these are perforated. Obviously, you set it to heated, get heated seats, cooled seats, it'll cool. And it also has a heated steering wheel. So basically, I mean, this Camaro is fully decked out with almost every single feature. I can't really think of one. I don't really think it has the Magna Ride, but I could be wrong. I'm not sure. Um, but I think it's something that you can adjust within the infotainment system. I went to settings and I didn't find any option there, so it might not have it. I'm gonna go ahead and turn off ignition. So overall, I mean, it's a pretty damn nice vehicle. I cannot complain, uh, of course, <laughs> and, and the stitching as well as the color contrast, I think it, it just perfectly fits what I was looking for in a vehicle. So um, it has a perfect blend of technology, everything you think of to have in a vehicle that you might need and performance to boot on top of that. It's a perfect blend of what anyone really wants. So unfortunately, this car didn't come with LEDs. I'm not sure if you can get LED beam lights, but these are your regular incandescent beam lights, um, or HIBs, I believe. Uh, either way, they are bright enough to uh, illuminate at nighttime, just not as bright as your typical uh, jewel light LEDs or... Um, reflective LEDs that you get from a Honda Accord or anything like that. Still, it's not bad. So now we come up to the trunk to see how much space is actually in here. And of course, with any sports car, you are going to sacrifice a little bit of trunk space. It's uh, not too bad, but the entrance is uh, <laughs> definitely not all that big. Um, you're definitely gonna have to do some work uh, when putting things in here, whether you want to try ahead, uh, go ahead and, and try to put it through the front and then put the seats down and then just throw it back here. Or you can just try and put whatever it is in here through this small entrance. I mean, either way, yeah, it, it's just not ideal. <laughs> but hey, I mean, it's a sports car. What can you say? As you can see, the engine and all the components under the hood looks very nice. Apart from it being a little dirty, of course, I'm going to make a separate video cleaning the engine bay, so stay tuned for that. But uh, it's a good looking engine. I just want to touch it. Mm, yeah, it's fantastic. So after that brief little tour I gave you, I wanted to know what you guys think about the car. And the car in general, if you own one or have owned one, uh, comment down below as to you know, what you liked or didn't like about the car. Uh, if you still have it, if you sold it, why not? Um, definitely get some general conversation going. I'm, I'm actually curious uh, because I just got it. So I want to know what... Uh, what are some of the opinions on people that have had it for a while or had have had one for a while? Um, but this is just a start, a little taste of what I want this series to be about. So uh, if you enjoyed, hit that like below and stay tuned for more episodes. And uh, there'll definitely be some plenty more because this thing needs some work, some polishing and some cleaning. So. Hopefully you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next one. See you later.